It's stinking out here. It's what? It's stinky out here. What are you doing? Making some headway. Honey, it's like making sparks. Yeah, I know. On a Santa Ana wind day. <laughs> We're just making, we got a little patch panel that we have to make back here in the road trunk lid, but we probably since the last time you saw, we finalized this fender. We got the yeah, patch all. Yeah, la last video showed you guys cutting it off. Why? Yeah, so we got it all welded in, patched in, and we, we um, decided we were going to remove the rear bumper. Okay. And uh, smooth out all the uh, all the indentations. We saw it at a car on a car in a car show, and we both the Ross really liked it. So. Okay. So that's coming, and we just stripped out the whole uh, all the interior, which you can see on the table is what an interior looks like when you rip it out of a. Oh, gross! <laughs> None of that's going back in, right? No, no. And Austin's just working on. Uh, uh, I get the fun job God. of peeling out those that's just stinky disgusting. rubber matting. <laughs> well, it's not really all that rusted through, though, is it? No, not too bad. There's a couple holes up front there that we're going to have to patch, and that's why Austin's taking out all the, the undercoating so that when we weld it, it doesn't ignite into a... Where'd the, where'd the window go? Which one? The back window. Oh, that's over along the... The windshield. Uh, windshield out. Dad, Dad broke the windshield. <laughs> How'd you do that? Wow, well, he thought the proper technique of removing the windshield was to use his feet to kick it out. <laughs> oh, and I told him he was watching too many movies, but uh, yeah. Yeah, so we're just repairing this little piece here. It's just about rusted through. And so just gonna cut it out and put in a put in a fresh piece of metal and we'll be, everything else looks pretty good. And then, and then what, you go to the other, next side? Yeah, then we're gonna work our way around and we got, so that'll leave us with just this one fender, removing the flare and the driver's door and then we've gone all the way around on all the heavy metal work. Okay, but yep. then, and then what, you bondo it and smooth it out? And... We're going to try to, um, we're going to try some uh, some other techniques. We want to try to use as little bondo as possible, but so far the way we've patched it up, it's pretty, there's pretty not going to be much, much well, that's going to be required, but. No bondo, but what, flour and water? <laughs> no, there's some, uh, it's not lead, but it's like lead, so it's a a metal based product. I don't want my kid driving around in a lead based car. It's not lead. Yeah. Oh, so. it stinks, gosh. <laughs> it has to look a little uglier before it looks better. Yeah, uh, is that. Honey, it's pretty ugly from the start. <laughs> look at all the stuff you pulled out. Yeah, it's amazing how many parts it takes to make an interior. So what, like you have to get a whole new dashboard and everything, or? No, the, well the Z-Store has a, what they call a dash cap, so we're going to use that, because there's yeah. a couple of cracks in this one. Okay. And then, um, yeah, most all the panels are in great shape, we're just going to clean a lot of them up. These look like rockin' speakers. <laughs> Alright, All right. please oh, don't before, before start any fires or sparks, okay?